Hello everyone, this is 16th March 2013 and today I want to discuss uh, the inflation numbers with you which came out uh, uh, a few days back but uh, and uh, I also uh, I want to discuss with you the upcoming mid-quarter uh, uh, review of monetary policy 2012-2013 which RBI will publish on 19th March next Tuesday so what kind of environment is there what kind of expectation the business world is having what kind of expectation the government is having especially the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister what kind of expectation they are having from the RBI right I want to discuss about all those things today I, I also want to talk about as I told you in the beginning uh, the uh, inflation numbers which came out last week and uh, but before we discuss those inflation numbers and the kind of environment in which Indian economy is finding itself I just want to uh, discuss this small uh, statements uh, which uh, RBI governor made before this inflation numbers came out so on March 8 2013 uh, RBI governor uh, Subarao he was you know uh, he was talking with some people out there uh, with uh, with the investors and uh, he made some comments and those comments are pretty interesting uh, interesting in the sense they are important for us to understand because they are having direct repercussion on our lives so I just want to analyze them and then after that immediately I will discuss the inflation numbers and then I'll talk about the kind of expectation uh, expectations which the uh, Indian Indian um, industry uh, the, and the finance ministry is having from the RBI so let's talk about Subarao's commands so uh, Subarao said that price stability is essential for uh, India's economic growth so as, a, as you know this this Keynesian economics they have this overriding goal of price stabilization what they call uh, monetary stabilization and this, this stabilization policies are actually instabilizing the economy but let's see what Subara is saying he said that a key to our collective national aspiration for sustained high economic growth is low and steady inflation so uh, that's quite uh, as I said it's not very maybe it's kind of a shocker for you people but not for uh, an economist like me uh, as I'm telling you since quite a long time that high inflation a kind of inflation is you know the kind of you know policy official policy of the central bank bankers obviously they are they are they exist so for inflating the money supply uh, and they also equate you know money printing inflation with economic growth and and he is saying uh, this simple you know couple of lines is you know having so many fallacies so many wrong things in it first of all he is saying key to our collective national aspiration for sustained high economic growth now what is the meaning of our collective national aspiration for sustained high economic growth uh, again you know there is no such a, a collective national aspiration individuals are individuals and they have their own individual goals and these people are trying to drag us all with their collective national aspiration of high you know, sustained high economic growth and uh, uh, and um, and the another aspiration you know is key another key to this you know aspiration of sustained high economic growth is he is saying is low and steady inflation I just I just fail to understand how can inflation, you know, low or either low or sustained inflation, can steady inflation can be key to any kind of economic growth. Inflation and economic growth has no relationship whatsoever. Economic growth, you know, the way in which they define it is different, but economic growth is very different from inflation. Where there is inflation, economic growth is in trouble, right? And as I said in my past, you know, video analysis also that we can have very high level of economic growth without any kind of inflation. The only thing which is required for that is a, a lazy, fair, free market capitalist economy with its sound monetary system, a pure gold standard where 
uh, the money supply is riding steadily year after year like 1% whatever the uh, gold mining supply coming out is, uh, from the you know <coughs> earth is uh, and that is keeping up with the population growth which is pretty much like one one and a half percent and and that will keep up the you know money supply fairly stable over a very long period of time and when the production is rising because we have a free market capitalist economy uh, because of that what will happen is there will be a secular downward trend in the prices of various you know goods and services the prices will actually fall over a period of time when we have a sound monetary system and a free market laissez faire capitalist economy so we don't have to live with you know any kind of inflation to have high economic growth you know the national aspiration can be achieved without any kind of inflation but this keynesian economists will never understand that because as i said their their concepts of inflation and economic growth they are faulty to begin with and and when they're beginning with faulty premises Obviously, their conclusions are also wrong. Okay, so let's move on. What, uh, what other things Subarav is saying? He's saying under an environment of price stability, investors and consumers could make informed choices and contribute to growth, right? You know, but who is stopping investor and consumer from contributing into growth? You know, who is impeding this? You know, price stability. Who is creating this environment of price instability that we will see in a while when I'll come out with this inflation number all obviously the answer is RBI itself they are the ones who are creating you know inflation and they are the ones who are disturbing this you know price stability whatever that means even if that is the goal RBI is not you know achieving its own stated goal you know they are saying that price stability is their their goal but they are not achieving that own goal and you know, I'll give you some numbers you know once I finish this you know analysis of the statements of Subarao I'll show you that how they themselves are creating price instability the responsibility of RBI is to anchor inflation expectation and ensure price stability again their goal is price stability neither theory nor empirical evidence presents a credible case for equivalent in a new normal for inflation in India, you know, this is you know about many people are saying, many you know financial pundits and many economists are saying that because now India is on a high economic growth path, so that's why we should accept you know some kind of high level of inflation as new normal. So they were saying they they are saying that in in past five percent was uh, you know uh, the so-called steady you know low level of inflation and now they want to increase their level to you know uh, seven or eight percent because they are saying that that is what is new normal right now and can you imagine people that they are saying that seven or eight percent of inflation is normal that means every year RBI and government officials are stealing seven or eight percent of our hard-earned wealth hard-earned income and they are saying that this is new normal Right, inflation can never be a you know part of normal situation. We don't need any kind of inflation. We need to eliminate the inflation from root and branch. But as I said, they are not going to do that because you know for them inflation is you know kind of equal to some kind of economic growth. Anyways, you know he's saying we need to manage this convergence by calibrating the inflation differential over time rather than increasing in a new normal for inflation. So he's saying that no, no, we don't want to go with this higher inflation number is a new normal but thank god he is not going to do that uh, but in any case you know they are happy with low and steady inflation so five percent uh, of stealing is allowed you know they say they, they are saying that five percent uh, they can steal from our for our wealth every year but not much more than that so that's okay five percent of stealing is okay seven percent is not okay I don't know how that makes any, any kind of difference five percent to seven percent stealing after all is stealing nevertheless the context present neither a necessary nor a sufficient condition for the Reserve Bank to revise its inflation goal as I said they are not going to revise their inflation goal for a while and thank God but okay now importantly I told you that I am going to give you the uh, inflation numbers now. RBI, Subara, governor is saying that price stability is his goal. Now let's try and see whether he is, you know, his, his institution and he himself is achieving this goal. February CPI inflation at 10.91%. India's annual consumer price inflation accelerated to 10.9% in February, right? So, 
immediately you know on 8th March Subaru said that price stability is RBI's goal and on March 12 inflation number comes out and what happens it was in January 10.79% in February it jumped up to 10.91% so where is, where is price stability they are not even achieving their own stated goals right so forget about eliminating inflation they are not even achieving their own stated goal of price stability right they are the ones who are creating this price instability you know I told you that I'm going to give you some numbers you know this 10.91 percent of CPI inflation rate is also understated if you actually go and buy something in the market if you are you know shopping daily in the market then you see that the price inflation is much higher than what these official numbers are saying for example you know in the last couple of weeks itself you know I have these numbers uh, my barber, you know, I know my barber shop, my barber has increased uh, haircut price from 25 rupees to 30 rupees now, right, what he used to charge. So that is straight away 25% jump. Uh, the drinking water bottle, which used to be per, per bottle 20 rupees, now it has gone up to 25 rupees. That is also 25% increase you know um, the India's big book retailer uh, Flipkart they have also increased their shipping cost from 30 rupees to 50 rupees and they have increased their limit of free shipping from 300 rupees to 500 rupees so this is like straight away 67 percent of job so these are all some anecdotal evidences of actual inflation number on ground is more than 15 20 percent is not 10.91 percent but in any case even in their official numbers inflation rate has gone up in February compared to January in January it was 10.79 percent in February it is 10.91 percent so where is price stability Mr. Subarao it is not at all there uh, then you know they are you know playing some kind of you know games you know some kind of shenanigans with the inflation numbers immediately after this you know inflation number came out people started talking about RBI on 19th March you know in this mid quarter policy review they are not going to reduce the inflation rates uh, not going to in, in, uh, decrease their you know, bank rate etc they are not going to cut the rates and uh, uh, they talked about they started worrying and the stock market started you know collapsing immediately after that because the stock mar market is also on opium you know RBI is Kool-Aid they are drinking that they are on these drugs right this steroid you know artificial credit steroid the moment RBI will take away the punch ball the stock market will collapse you know this is the situation all over the world this this you know Dow Jones industrial average right now is reaching you know you know new highs but all this is paper profit it's all paper it's nothing real concrete the fundamental base is pretty you know, hollow right now, American economy, the world economy itself. So this is just you know kind of you know uh, uh, an asset bubble which you know central bankers are blowing right now, and I'm sure pretty soon that is going to bust. In any ways, then the WPI number came out and they started playing games with that, right? These media guys. Uh, so I told you that the CPI went up from 10.79 to 10.91 and then came out WPI. So what is the headline saying? Inflation likely ease further in February rate cut seen. Wholesale price likely rose at their slowest annual pace in more than three years last month. So, uh, you know, it rose but at the slowest annual pace. So they are calling that this is a decline in WPI number right so even if the WPI is rising but rising at the slowest pace they call it decline you see they are playing this linguistic tricks you know because they are so desperate for this rate cut because the growth numbers are you know tanking right now they know that if RBI is not going to reduce the rate then the economy is gone crash right because the bubble is already bursting inflation you know is pretty high on the other side economy is not improving so we are having this stagnation you know kind of problem so they are they are making every tricks to show that the inflation number has come down so that RBI can you know have some kind of room for reducing their interest rate February's deceleration would be the fifth in a row bringing inflation closer to the Reserve Bank of India's perceived comfort level of around 5% as it comes under pressure to shore up economic growth so RBI is under pressure
from the finance ministry and from the industry or business world to bring down the interest rate and give some kind of boost to you know economic growth basically money printing creating more inflation as i said uh, wpi you know it actually rose but at a slower pace so they are saying that this is some kind of deceleration this is simple trick you know statistical tricks you know they are trying to fool all of us right uh, but any case as i said what what is happening is the uh, finance ministry is pretty much desperate right now and the business world is also desperate and that desperation uh, is showing right pm's advisor is saying that inflation gives rbi room to cut rates now as i said cpi went up uh, wpi is rising but at a bit of a slow pace you know you know wpi data are all manipulated already they don't include food and energy prices into that core inflation you know calculation and you know you know without food and without energy you know in any case you know this price indexes don't measure the value of anything uh, uh but any case those numbers are also being manipulated by the government statisticians but it, they are very they are very much desperate so the uh, government advisor you know cpm's advisor rangurajan is saying that this you know 6.54% of you know wpi number is going to give some kind of room to rbi to reduce the interest rate and boost the economic growth uh, after that finance ministry also said finance ministry officials said there is scope for easing monetary policy finance ministry on tuesday said there is a scope for easing monetary policy to boost growth in view of moderation in wpi based inflation doesn't matter if cpi went up they are just looking at wpi as i said they are just looking for excuses to you know reduce the interest rate somehow so that they they can show that the growth figure is again you know rising inflation numbers have also come down so there is a certain there is certainly a case for giving further impulse to growth uh, the ea secretary arvin mayaram told reporters here but as i said this is all uh, statistical trick the inflation number has not come down right and there is no room for rbi to cut the interest rate if they are going to cut the interest rate now they are creating more inflation and i'm telling you this is not going to you know result in something good you know rbi is you know right now you know kind of trap in between hard and rock place and and the more they will try to reduce the you know interest rate the more they will rack the economy they will create inflation prices will go up in future not only that they are creating this boom and bust cycle right so economy's capital base is right now uh, this in getting destroyed you know if we are consuming our capital and and because of that the future growth will be lower and future income and future standard of living of indian people will be lower rbi is wrecking our economy with this you know loose monetary policy but as i say they don't have you know any other choice and they they don't know anything else to do they can just print more money right so i guess that's what they are going to do let's see what they come out with on 19th march next tuesday when rbi will announce its mid quarter review of monetary policy i will come out and you know analyze that policy again you know whether they are going to listen to the finance ministry or the business wall and go and reduce the interest rate i don't know chances are that they will do something because you know things are getting pretty desperate right the growth figures are something like 5% or so and uh, and as i say but even if they'll reduce the interest rate that is not going to help anyone that is actually going to harm us it that is going to exorbitate the problems for us or it's not going to help anybody as long as rbi is manipulating the market interest rate and the, you know why are money supply you know manipulation nothing is going to you know change for better so all right you know i will come back on wednesday analyzing you know next tuesday's you know, rbi's policy till then you all take care over there goodbye